Howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here. As promised, I am going to show how I do the um, brim of, of hats that I make on looming. Um, and this is just how I do it. Doesn't mean it's the right way. Um, I'm self-taught, but I had a friend ask me to show her how to do these. So I'm going to do that. This is, I'm working on a hat that will match this scarf for an order. And I have already done the blue. This is a standard E-wrap. And I have done the blue. And then I have come in and done uh, white stripes in red. Um, and um, so it's going to, this is what it looks like. If it's facing you, I'm going to do one more row um, of the base E-wrap, and then I will combine these. So, um, I just take, like, my white, and I go ahead and I wrap, and then I skip how many other pegs, you know, because I'm doing, uh, I'm skipping two pegs and then doing a thing of white. So, I will go through, and I will do all of this, and there is no right or wrong way to hold your... Your loom, this is just what I find easier. Um, there, and then I'll usually secure that one on. Then you pick up your red. Yeah. I had to see where I ended at. You pick up your red, and you're doing the same. So, let me see. It's kind of hard to show you because, I, like I said, I, this is how I... Hold mine, but you just e wrap two, skip one, e wrap two, skip one, and how you go all the way around. And then I will secure these and we will carry on. So we just keep going like this. And my husband is in. Wrapping presents right now. My presents. <sighs> I'm busy filming. So don't get too beastly. <laughs> so. Anyway, then you just go through and, and uh, you know, do your loops. Like you do. This is my favorite. This KB uh, hook is my favorite to use. It's the most comfortable for my hands. Um, and it's what I always use, but yeah, you just go through and, you know, do your looming part of this, just, you know, um, I can't tell you how many, um, I'd say probably 10 to 12 down and then, um, you know, maybe another 10 to 12 you know, because you're going to fold this all over, and I'll show you that in just a moment. Uh, as soon as I get done doing this, uh, um, this uh, row, I call it in the round, <laughs> you know, but yeah. And don't worry about what this underside looks like, you know, I certainly don't. Um... This will all be hidden by your brim, actually, while you're doing it. And that one goes down. That one goes down. Now you want to decide on what side you're going to want to make, what color you're going to want to make this next row, of course, which I already know that it will be a red. So... What I'm going to do is go ahead and cut my white. You know, I'm going to go ahead and tie it off. Tie it off however you like. I just like to do a standard kind of a double knot. Like I said, this will all be hidden within. Okay, now you're going to take, like I said, don't worry about any of these extra strings. What you're going to do is you're going to take and pull from under here. And you're going to figure out what is exactly opposite on that peg. And you're just simply going to put it over. 
and you're going to keep doing this all the way around. You find those that loop and you pull it. And you're just going to keep doing this and it's going to match up perfectly. So, you know, don't worry. You know, peg for peg, loop for loop, it is going to match up. Um, and I guess that's why I like doing one, one color, one side, and another color, another side, because it's just kind of fun for me. Um, make sure and leave whatever you're going to be working with out. Um, keep going. I'm trying to show you guys as I'm doing this. Um, just keep going. And it's just coming out all so nicely. And you will find. And then when you've got these strings and stuff, you just pull them through. You pull them right on through you find out where where you can tuck them in because you're going to hide them right inside this you know you're going to hide that and all your extra string here you're just going to hide it right inside this brim here you know nobody will ever know it's there and it's all nice and neat as a button and that's all there is to it See, yeah, I've got one more. Okay. Yes, that's the way it is. Each loop had a peg. This is the underside. Right there. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take this. Let me see if I can show you better on this. You're going to take this and you're going to bring it up and over. Just like that. And then push that down. And you're going to do this, or you're going to bring your color underneath, up and over that. And don't worry, this first few will be hard to do. But just keep doing that. Push it down like this. This is what it will be looking like. See? And so you just keep doing this. Like I said, it'll be kind of hard on some areas. Especially if you just skip like I did. No wonder that's hard. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I skipped over into the middle. And I couldn't figure out why it was so hard. But you just keep pulling it up and over and push it down. You know, you keep doing that. All the way around. What you're doing is sealing those two and making a nice double thick brim that will not curl at all and it gives it, it gives it a very nice decorative brim and um, you know like I said then you don't have to worry about the curling or anything I had to pull that back off because I got one of those I got one too many colors going there that wasn't going to look good you know when you're doing your work don't worry about mistakes because we all do mistakes that's what makes stuff homemade. Um, if you want something to be perfect, then you go and get something commercially made. You know, where they stamp them out by thousands. You know, but this homemade, you know, and stuff. I mean, I think we all know, you know, some days, like right now, my hands really hurt. You know, because I've been doing a lot. Ugh. And that's one of the things you don't want to have happen. And what just happened right now is I had I had my uh, stitch pop pop over. Darn it! Now I'm going to have to uh, loop one of those through. Well, this will be a good learning experience for you guys. You have to put one of these yarn ends through. Um, remember when I tied that white? I evidently didn't tie it well enough. You know, I want to make sure I leave enough room, though. Um, so, it came undone. So, now, now I'm going to have to 
put that over and I'm going to have to somehow tuck this in. See what I mean about stuff is homemade and you just kind of go with it. Okay, crisis averted. You can't see any different now from, from having to do that. Then you just keep doing this. Um, and I said, oh, you had to make sure that that one end kind of put your finger on it so it doesn't do that. That's the color I'll be starting on again. You know, we're almost done with this. Okay, now this is all the way done. This is the inside of the brim. This is the outside of your brim of your hat. And so, and I purposely did this where when it folded over like this, you would see just a little bit of the blue. Because this is the red, white, and blue. You know, and then I've got the stripes. So, but yeah. And then my next color that I will start with. And then you just pick up. And you just start your e-wrap again, and I'm just doing my standard e-wrap, you know. And now I'll just do red, white, and blue uh, vertical stripes, like I, or horizontal, something like that. Where you're laying down, <laughs> like like that will match the scarf, and that's all I will be doing. It's it just uh, doing this. Um, you know, I hope that made any sense. Um, you see like that, just like this. See, and then you just continue on. And it will turn out to look absolutely seamless. But you can definitely tell this is the brim. But it will learn, and it will... Um, turn out to be absolutely seamless so anyway that's what that is i hope i explained it well enough if not you can look on youtube and find other examples that are a lot better so anyway happy looming and i will talk to you guys later bye